Hi guys, had a comment from Churuti55 suggesting I should make something with an old computer mouse. Well I've got quite a selection, this is just three of them, so it's probably a good idea to make something with one of these. Okay, a few minutes desoldering. I've got a few electrolytic capacitors, a few ordinary capacitors, LED, four resistors, a couple of inductors. Not quite sure what that thing is. Say it had an X on the printed circuit board, which I would have thought meant some sort of crystal or timer. And this variable, well I say variable resistor, it's something like that. That's the thing that the mouse wheel actually turns. And then we've got three micro switches. So my plan is I should just cut straight across the circuit board so that I can make use of those two micro switches. So I've got to straighten this paper clip out and then bend it to fit the other side. That's the general idea. Just like um, the whiskers. That's the plan to hot glue them in position there. I have to cut a couple of slots either side in the top of the mouse so they can stick out and then bend them around the front so they actually touch the wall or whatever when they bump into it. Got a couple of these electric motors, came out of vibrating toothbrushes. I've used them on other projects, that's why they've got wires on them already. So the plan is to cut some holes in the mouse here so they can stick out at an angle, one on either side, and that'll be our propulsion. And I should be able to get a 9 volt battery to sit in there. 9 volts is probably far too much, but it's the right size power pack. Just drilled a couple of holes either side there to give me somewhere to aim for while I try and cut bigger holes out. So, there's the motors in place. I'm not quite sure whether I like them at that angle. It's rather steep, but I might give it a try, see if it'll work anyway. Just had to have another rethink, although I'd like to use the 9 volt batteries, I need to be able to get polarity reversal, positive to negative and negative to positive, to make the motors go backwards and forwards, and I can't squeeze two of them in there. Nearly can, but just can't quite. So I'm going to have to go with two AA batteries and squeeze some metal contacts down either side. OK guys, this is supposed to be one of those little um, robot things that bumps into things, turns around and goes the other way. Uh, it's not quite like that. Uh, I got a bit bored with the way it was performing. It's supposed to have two AA batteries in it. You can see that I've squeezed two 9 volt batteries in there, which is way over power for these motors. They're only supposed to be 1.5 volts, maybe 3 volts. But I just thought I'd have a bit of fun. So it doesn't really go the way it should do, it just goes a bit wild. It's probably, probably faster than some of my rubber band powered cars. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> right, I'd better give a quick uh, summary, I think. Uh, two 9 volt batteries, two electric motors out of, um, yes, these would have come out of my vibrating toothbrushes that I keep buying. 
the two micro switches at the front there were part of the original circuit board for the mouse that I've modified them by putting bent paper clips on them to operate them so they work like um, whiskers and that's it really so say it's a bit of a monster now I suppose it's true to say that those switches are not working very well. Um, I think if I wanted this to work really well I'd have replaced them with decent micro switches. But the way I've modified them they just don't seem to work as well as they should do.